If you can't give your bird your full attention, if you can't even give your dog or your cat your full attention, or your kid right now, forget it. Don't get a bird. Welcome to my channel. I'm Caroline Von Petzold. This is Glory. This is my Hyacinth Macaw. And today I'm going to talk about 15 reasons why you should not buy a Hyacinth Macaw. Okay, <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell. Give us a like if you like this video. This is an educational video. Thank you for subscribing and supporting me. Glory. <laughs> Glory. She's very curious. Okay, so this is number one. Those birds are very expensive birds. I already talked about it in another video. Very expensive. They go between uh, 10 to 20,000 here in America, depending the age and where you buy it and the demeanor of this bird. Um, I know in other places they are more expensive, especially in Australia, they can go up to 60 to 80K. So they're very expensive birds. And then reason number two is they're very hard to find. Once you find a breeder, like maybe there's no eggs and like, you know, you cannot just, if you have the money, you cannot just buy a bird like that. You need to like find a good reputable breeder who will sell you a good bird, who's not sick, who is healthy. Usually also like they wean off the birds when they are like eight months old. So you cannot get a bird younger than eight months because the mortality rate is very high. That means if breeders sell you an unweaned bird, that bird might die and you spend already like $15,000, four <laughs> months old, and then it died. I was lucky. I got love with four months old. That breeder that I bought my bird from, um, he says, okay, because I wanted a baby bird to train for free flight, but the younger bird, the better. The younger the bird is, the better, because that bird will imprint on you. Imagine like eight months, you already get a finished bird. Like it's already a bird that has its personality growed out and, the bre and imprinted on the breeder. So I wanted like a young bird that was four months old and I got a young bird and I could imprint with love for free flight training. So it's very, very rare, very hard to get, very expensive. Now, I want to say also Hyacinth number three is very hard to handle. They are, you can see he's like playing right now here. You see, she's not playing here with my, <laughs> she's breaking it. You see that? Uh, they're very hard to handle like it's it's not easy to handle my cars they look all cute and you think like oh that's my dream bird i want it but like don't be fooled um my highest in my cars is three times um the the work and care of a real of a real macaw so they are very intense, very intense. Now, number four, they break stuff. You see that? Yeah, but she's not breaking my sweater. She's breaking stuff. <laughs> oh, glory. She's breaking stuff. They break all the time stuff. They always need to break stuff. Glory. They always need to break stuff. Their beaks always have to chew. Their beaks are always busy. Um, You see that? What are you doing? Are you breaking now? She's breaking now my shirt. Are you breaking my shirt? That's what I'm talking about. And if you're not okay uh -huh. with that, don't get a high scent. Don't get a macaw at all. Because you need to let them be happy. You need to let the bird to be a bird and not always control everything they do because that's not fun. It's like, you know, always restricting them. The next point, number five, is they want your full attention. If you have, um, if you have no time for them, that won't work either so you should not get a high scent because you don't you don't have time for them they want your full attention they are like little kids that always want to be involved in your life and do whatever you do or sit on your shoulder and look over your shoulder even if somebody is on my door and ring the bell i go at the door they scream they, i have to put them on my shoulder to go look who's outside because they want to be involved in my life they always they are very intense birds, like very intense. Number six, they want your full attention. If you don't give them your full attention, they are not happy and they start screaming and their screams are very loud. Like 90 decibels. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? You see, I'm talking with you 
guys, and she's already jealous. She wants my full attention. Best point right there. She wants my full attention so that so that I just look at her and just kiss her and just be with her and entertain her. They want to be entertained 24-7. You want to be entertained? Hi, Blowy. Yep, they want to be entertained. So they want your full attention. If you can't give your bird your full attention, if you can't even give your dog or your cat your full attention or your kid right now, forget it. Don't get a bird. I'm just very honest, very serious. I don't sugarcoat anything. You know me from my videos at Caroline Von Petzl that I always say the truth. And I'm always being very honest with you guys. Even with free flight, like, you know, all the mistakes and the risk of free flying and fly-offs and stuff like that. It's all real. So I don't sugarcoat anything. Number seven. They don't just want your full attention, they want your full time. They own you. Like, they are there because, <laughs> because you need to take care of them. Oi. Hey. Yeah, they own you. You don't own them. They own you. Uh, they own you. They dictate your whole life, how it goes. Your whole day, they dictate it. Point number eight. If you have a nine to five job, it wouldn't work um, because you cannot just put them in a cage and let them be. No, it doesn't work. You have to entertain them. Like if you have a full time job and you have no time for them, don't get a hyacinth maca. Number nine, not only they are expensive in purchase, blow it up. Not only they are expensive in purchase, but they're also very expensive in the care in the practical things in the daily life like care um like cages you need to get a big big cage that is stainless stainless steel that it doesn't break good care for them because they need good care um number number 10 you have to clean the cage like three times a week they shed a lot of feathers they shed a lot of toys they break a lot of toys and they will have a lot of poop so if you're not okay with poop and breaking toys and moldy food and you know what they drop, what they eat, and you don't want to clean up and you're too lazy to clean up, don't get a hyacinth. It's so intense to clean them and it will be, it's really expensive to get the, the cage and the cage liners and you know, you have to clean, you have to, you have to have time for them. You have to keep everything happy, um, germs free and healthy and clean. Um, see what she's doing right now? She's jealous. She wants, she's a hormonal. <laughs> That's a hormonal bird. Come on, Glory. Come on, Glory. Come on. Stop up. Stop up. Good. So okay. she is hormonal. You see what she's doing? She's jealous. She's hormonal. She wants my attention because I talk to you. And she's restless right now. She's restless. So birds are very hormonal. And if you can't handle the their little mistakes and their little failures and their character don't get a bird ow number 11 they bite see that they bite see if i touch her in a part that she doesn't like or i'm too fast or i'm too slow she bites me you bite me you bite me you bite me ow <laughs> Ow. They can bite. And don't be fooled. They bite are painful. They bite are really... Ow, glory. They bite are very hard. Double the strength of a pit bull. It's like two pit bulls and one bite. They, 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 they beaks can... They can, they beaks can like crack macadamia nuts. Only a CVP plier can cut macadamia nuts. And if they bite you... Oh, nails. If they bite you... You aren't happy. What? You wanna bite me? What? You wanna bite me? Huh? You wanna bite your mom? Nah, behave. Behave. Toys are so expensive. They need expensive toys. They always need to bite. They always need to chew. They always need to break stuff. They're breaking constantly my stuff. Um, they're breaking the bird room. They're breaking windows. They eat the wall. They eat the wallpaper. They, they don't eat it. They just break it. They're not hungry. They are very, very spoiled birds. What? What? 
Go. 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 Oh, yes, we. There you go. Go up there. Um, yeah, they break so much stuff and they break toys. So you need to get a lot of toys for them so that they are always happy. Now, um, number screamers. You see that? She screams. I just put her up there. She wanted to go up. Now she wants to come back down. And now I don't want her to come back down. She screams at me. Okay, Cam. Cam. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Can't. Can you make up your mind what you want? Do you want to go up or you want to stay here with me, huh? See, they cannot make up their mind. They want to go up. They want to come down. They want to go up. They want to come down. They go up. They scream. They want to come back down. That's the things what I'm talking about with intensity. Intense. They're very intense. See that? That is the behavior of a bird that needs 24-7 care and love and uh, support. Uh, food. Expensive food. They need expensive nuts. They love nuts. They need a lot of fat. They're not like a, like a macaw that... Sorry. <laughs> they need a lot of nuts. And not just any nuts. They need macadamia nuts, which is like twelve ninety nine per pound. 80 pounds. I buy 80 pounds half a year. So probably like 160 pounds per year. Because they get um, um, 8 to 10 macadamia nuts a day. This is their main diet. They need macadamia nuts. So macadamia nuts isn't cheap. And if if I need like 160 pounds for two birds, 80 pounds per bird per year, you can make the math with 12.99 per pound. And why you should not get a highest in my car? They need constant love. They need constant, constant love like this. They need constant love. They need constant high. <laughs> they need constant time they need you glory chill chill glory chill they need constant love constant of your time and if you don't give them love and your time they're not happy they start screaming again they are very hard to control you see what Glory's doing right now ow see out of the blue she just wants to bite me Hey, Glory, what do you want? Hard to control. I don't know what she wants sometimes. She wants to go up. She wants, do you want to go up? You want to go back on the swing? What? You want to go fly? Come on. Okay, she wants to go back on the swing. You see, yeah, you're hard to control. Step up. Oh, yeah. now she wants to cuddle? Now you want to cuddle? Hard to control. They need big space. Okay, go up. Go up in this swing. And now she's going to be screaming again. They need a lot of space. If you don't have space in your house and you don't have like, like, you know, cages and all this like space. And I, I'm telling you honestly, Rory, come down. Hard to control. I'm telling you. Come down. She wants to go up. Now she wants to come down again. Come down. No, she doesn't want to come down. You want to come down? Come down. Come down. Calm down. Calm down. This is one of the reasons why you should not get a high set mark, huh? Because if you cannot like deal with the tactics and the little tantrums, then you're screwed, man. Don't be fooled. They are sweet. They are the dream birds of many. But look at at the character. Like they are always all over the place. <laughs> Ow! They're always all over the place and they're hard to take care of. They are really hard. You have to ah. deal with they 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 tactics ah. and they tantrums. You ah. have no vacation. Like ah. if you have birds, you are you are in jailbird. I mean you are in you're in bird ah. jail. Yeah, you're in bird jail. Because all what you do ah. is just everything about these birds and you can't go on vacation unless you know somebody to take care of them i didn't have vacation for the past four years i just had one vacation just because um i had friends to take care of my bird and then i was just gone for a week because i'm always afraid something would happen to them and now we come to point number 20 last point if I go to vacation, they can hurt themselves. They can start clucking. They can have psychological issues. They will be angry with me. 
Um, they are very highly intelligent and emotional birds. So if you don't want to travel, and I don't travel because I already travel the whole world, and I'm good, I'm good settling down, um, don't get birds. Because, yeah, if you're restless and want to see the world, do it in the later age once you settle down and you just don't want to go around and you know because it's not fair to the bird that you travel and then your bird is alone or somebody else take care of your bird you have to be there for your bird you know it's like a mom or dad taking care of the kid okay and last point if you don't have a garden or a backyard don't get any hyacinth maca or maca at all because you need to like shower them they need to be outside they need some space they need to see green they love to be outside they cannot just be all time in a home yes you can handle them all the time at home but it's just like abuse it's like like animal abuse like your kids have to go out and play and run and scream and be happy and breathe fresh air if you have your bird 24 7 for 365 days in a house like imagine how they will look with no sunlight they need sunlight they need to be outside in the garden you need to have the infrastructure of a house or a place with a garden and a backyard yeah that's it. Well, these were the 20 points why you should not get a Heisen Macaw. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the 20 points and tell me what you think. I want to hear from you and also subscribe. I hope you can see in the video all the tactics and all the intense care and everything that I told you because um, <laughs> she's always changing her mind. What? What do you want now? If you want to know how to train your bird, because I'm doing it right now. Go check out my book on angelic <coughs> parrots, how to train your bird to free fly and more. And it's not just a free fly book, but it teaches you about clicker training, about, uh, um, about positive reinforcement, how to handle difficult birds like Laurie, how to handle not difficult <coughs> birds, how to handle baby birds. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to read you here some quotes of this book. Somebody says, I love your book. I am... I am sure many will benefit from your experience and information will help others by sharing our stories and experiences. Somebody from the bird community. Somebody else says, very touching book that will make you understand the sensitivity of your bird, see his life from another perspective and teach you how to love him in the best way you can. Great reviews. <coughs> um, Marlene McCoy says, congratulations, <coughs> Caroline, on your new book. I know you love, love and passion for these birds are true and unmatched. I hope everyone who reads this strive to give their birds um, life of love and flight. This was Marlene McCohen. And then somebody says, um, write what you know because you can fake experience I wholeheartedly believe in the beauty and the agency of this book and the powerful effect it will have on the avian community. This book is a shining light to all those who wish to learn how to free fly and train their parrots. So if you want to go check out my book, angelicparrots.com, on my website, go get it. It's on sale right now. Go get it. It's on sale right now. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learned some stuff about highest in my class. Go check out my main channel, Caroline Von Petzold. We have 155,000 subscribers on that channel. I'm doing challenges in that channel. And yes, for now, I will say bye. Thank you for watching. Uh, like this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.